So this is gonna be a bit of a different video. I don't think I have made thumbnails for that long. The only two videos I have with actual thumbnails I've created were my vacation vlog and my last vlog, which was my Instagram video. But I wanted to show you guys how I finally created thumbnails and see if any of you also want to learn. So the website I use is canva.com. It's very free and I just used um, my account that I'm using. Obviously. First thing you want to do is create a design. So it's up in the top corner. And the suggested area that I use is video. It will take you to this little area where you can create your pictures. So the thumbnail I'm going to create is the one for this video that you guys are currently watching. So what you want to do is if you want to upload a picture, I already took a picture for the thumbnail. What you want to do is there's all these different settings. But first you want to go to uploads. I already uploaded some photos, but I'm going to upload an image or video and it takes me to my document area. And then once you come to your document area, you have to go to your movies and photos of your media area and you want to click on photos and you want to make sure that photo is imported into your photos before you start. So then you click on the picture. And then in this little button right here, you click choose. And then once you have the picture, you click on it and it is right here on the picture. So for a thumbnail, you want to make it to where it actually fits the whole picture. Now we want to go to text because we want to give context. See what I did there? <laughs> and we're going to basically be putting like I learned how to create thumbnails or think of a fun title for your video. So I'm just going to basically look for a good thumbnail text that I want to use. I like this thank you option, so I think I'm going to do that and just recolor it. And then once you click on it and it's free, which is great about the account. The ones with the crowns, by the way, are pro, which means you'd have to get the premium version. And I don't have the money for that, so I am not going to do that. Basically what I'm going to do now is move the thumbnail text over. Now obviously we don't want thank you for the name. What you're going to do is completely delete it. You have to click on it a bit. So I'm just going to type I learned. Hmm. I'm going to have to make the size a little bit small. I learned how to create nails. Now because I have so much natural light right here in my windows, I'm actually going to change the color. So you want something to pop. See, I'm kind of a fan of this one. So let me just keep looking to see where I like. I think I'm going to stick with this light blue just because it's the most colorful and I really do appreciate how it is. And you have the option also if you go into effects right here to make it look lifted, you want it to have a shadow, you want nothing on it. So you can make it look like this or you can make it look like this. You can make it however thick you want. So you can make it kind of look like anything you honestly want. You can make it look neon if you want. You can make it look like it has glitches. And I'm actually a huge fan of the glitches and you can change the back if you want. So I chose this little blue and red area. And then once you're done with that, you want to add some photos or elements to it because obviously you want to show your viewers what the whole video is basically about. So what I'm going to do is I am going to find, what do I want to find? Better probably a camera. Camera and a computer might work. See, I kind of like this picture right here that's free. So I'm going to click on this one. So it's just basically a girl holding up a camera. So I'm going to make it nice and small. I think I'm going to add it up into this little area right here. I'm still learning how to do this because I'm not a professional on how I created my thumbnails. I just kind of taught myself how to learn. But anyways, I think, let me see how that looks. I'm kind of happy with that. Yeah. And then there were options at the top also, like computer, beach, flowers. I'm going to do a computer because that's where I'm doing everything. I am going to do this picture because it's the most aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. 
So I'm going to make it as big as I can make it without ruining the actual title of the video. Most of the texts are free, I believe. So what you wanna do, you can move it over a little bit and I'm going to change the text. So I just thought I'd make this a little bit funny in a way, I guess. So I'm gonna, and if it doesn't fit, you can make it smaller. Let me see how this looks. So there we go. This is kind of what most of the thumbnails look like. There are still other things I'm learning, like elements, like you can find little shapes you wanna add. You can also do music if I want, you can do backgrounds. But I did a whole picture, so that's why I didn't need a background. Kind of like in my vacation vlog, I really only used a picture of the beach that I found. And so once you're done with your thumbnails, there's a thing in the top corner pressing download. You want to press download. You do not want to go with PNG because when you create thumbnails for your videos, you want them to be small enough. So what you want to do is click on the arrow on the side and you want to pick JPG, the small file size image. And you can keep every size you want that's this. You can press download and it'll prepare your design. And it'll stick in your photos. You and it'll also say it also has this little area. What I do is add to photos because that is usually what I do for the most part. And then I go to my photos to make sure that the picture is actually there. And it is right there at the very bottom. And this is where I did the picture also. But probably with all of that, I think that's gonna be the end of how I create my thumbnails. Now, obviously, remember, I am not a professional at this. I'm still learning how to do this. This isn't the best thumbnail, but it's the best of my capability. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love to make more videos about YouTube and everything. With all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.